नाउ बींग अ जे आर एफ सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज और स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटीज के नीचे तो बात ही नहीं करूंगी प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटीज तो बहुत दूर की बात है हेलो गाइस नमस्ते माय नेम इज़ निहारिका जसवाल एंड आई एम अ डॉक्टर और रिसर्च स्कॉलर एट एमिटी यूनिवर्सिटी आई हैव आल्सो क्वालिफाइड माय नेट जे आर एफ एग्जाम थ्री टाइम्स इन अ रो एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी आर रिवाइंड काइंड ऑफ वीडियो वेर आई वुड बी शेयरिंग माय एक्सपीरियंसिस माई लर्निंग्स फ्रॉम द ईयर ट्वेंटी एंड देन वाई आई चूज अ प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी वट आर द थिंग्स दैट आई लर्न वैन आई वेंट फॉर अदर स्टेट एंड सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज़ फॉर टेकिंग माई पी एच डी एडमिशन्स एंड देन अटेंडिंग टू इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंसेज वन ऑफ इट बींग एन आई आई एम कॉन्फ्रेंस सो आई थिंक यू गाइज शुड नो अबाउट हाउ दीज थिंग्स वर्क सो दैट वेन यू ट्राई इट फॉर योर सेल्फ यू हैव एन आइडिया हाउ दीज थिंग्स वर्क सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट so guys uh, i qualified my jrf in 2019 that is i gave the attempt of december 2018 and the results of that exam were announced on 5th of january 2019 and with that i qualified my jrf exam so i would be posting all the pictures of what i am mentioning here so that you have you get an idea about how these things are and you will be able to relate more to what i am mentioning here so i qualified my jrf so after qualifying jrf i you know qualifying jrf is in itself a dream so it opens uh, you know doors to many of the central and state universities at qualifying jrf exempts you from various entrance tests and you just have to appear for the interview only so i was on the top of the world after qualifying my jrf and it was a third attempt in the first two attempts i only qualified net in my first attempt and then i missed then i again qualified net and missed jrf by two marks and in the third attempt i qualified it so I, uh, that is how it went and then i you know i was not selected at delhi university i shared the experience with you guys regarding the admission interview and all of that and you guys love that video thank you so much for that now as i was not selected in delhi university so i tried for lucknow university in january 2019 like forms were announced and all of that so they have an entrance test lucknow university has an entrance test like last uh, exam till the last exam this was the procedure i don't know about this year but last year even if you are a jrf or a net you have to appear for the entrance exam so i qualified jrf then to have to appear for the entrance test so entrance test i went then i went for that interview so while filling up the form of lucknow university the one big mistake that i made was uh, uh actually i belong to obc category now in obc there ha it has also two layers like creamy layer and non creamy layer so i belong to non creamy layer while filling up the form i felt by mistake creamy layer so when you fill creamy layer while filling up any of the form that means you are declaring yourself as a general category so now you would not be treated as obc but you will be treated as general category so i did not you know notice that while filling up the form and it went all right that after you know entrance test we were called for that interview i went for the interview we were pres- uh, like i presented the research proposal and they asked questions related to research proposal only so like interview went try right. like entrance test was also like good and i was quite sure i would be getting admission or till that time i was not knowing about that creamy and non creamy technicalities and this you know created a blunder or i would say it was a blunder or a blessing i don't know but i now consider itself as a blessing with due respect to everyone so now when the list came like the final list came of uh, all the you know eligible candidates for getting admission like they have a list where they you know list certain students and they you know uh, rank accordingly like email layer so when the results came so i was ranked i was judged according to that general category so the what rank i got was according to the general category so obviously i did not make it to the final list of you know who got selected for that phd uh, admission however if i would have you know filled up the form very correctly and i would have chosen a uh, non creamy layer non creamy layer i would have chosen then i would be you know treated as an obc candidate 
and according to the you know rank i got according to the marks uh, marks i secured when i calculated i was like on the you know second position in that obc category but as i was treated general and that could, nothing could be done because i have filled the form incorrectly so the uh, you know mistake was all mine so obviously if i would have chosen that uh, non creamy layer i would have chosen that obc category then i would have been in the lists or in the merit list i would have been chosen for you know phd in lucknow university but it was i don't know i think all things <laughs> like what whatever happens happens for a reason and i now truly believe if i would have filled the form correctly i would have got admission in lucknow university and i would be you know pursuing my phd in lucknow university right now but that did not happen i made a blunder mistake uh, while filling up the form i was treated as a general candidate and because of that and then my rank got slipped down to you know very level and i was not granted admission my conclusion is that i was not granted admission to lucknow university so now i felt very disheartened like being a jrf you are not able to qualify a lucknow university's entrance test i think like what went wrong what went wrong i was uh, like telling me and i was you know blaming myself for not filling up the form very much correctly and then i cried 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 a lot because you know lucknow university uh, at that time i thought lucknow university is a state university and then if not delhi university if not lucknow university then which university i am going to get admission how will i be able to uh, you know get admission how would i be able to start my phd if i am not getting admission being a jar of like these were the questions that were running continuously in my mind now i was very much disheartened i was feeling very much low because i did not wanted to waste a year like technically the year was wasted and i would have i would have to wait one more year for like new university forms and that too it does not guarantee that i would be getting admission being a jrf now that's a true reality now afterwards i realized thank god i made a blunder mistake and i was not chosen in lucknow university and will get to know why in towards the end of this video now lucknow like, university was also rejected from the list now came bhu so i in i think in the march i think something near march or april uh, i went to bhu like now bhu has bhu calls for admission for phd admission i think two times one is in like uh, july august and then other one is second half of the year like in march and april so i filled uh, the form for september like july or uh, july like i think october or september something there was a month when i filled the form but i was not able to appear in that interview or in their uh, but i was not able to appear in the interview the reason being that i was preparing for my jrf and i could not afford uh, you know going to banaras and then like investing my 3 4 days because i knew the revision for my jrf was very much necessary so i did not go for that i would because i was thinking okay i would get admission in lucknow university like lucknow university like i felt was more convenient at that time but bhu announced its you know it for its interviews and called the candidates for interviews for you know taking admission i think for around 11 or 12 seats so as i had filled the form previously i would not have to fill the form you know now and they were only calling they were only inviting the net and jrf qualified candidates they were not even calling calling the post graduates in the form so i think like okay i would use this opportunity to the fullest and i would give my 100% so i made a separate research proposal for that a more polished a more professional one so that at any cost i would get an admission because uh, be you does not have because you are already net and or jrf qualified you would not have to give that entrance test but you only have to give that interview so when i went for you know to bhu for you know my you know interview proceedings and all of that formalities so i went there as i Uh, normally as a person as an individual i thought okay they are only calling you know net and jrf qualified candidates so maybe 
the students who will come are lesson number and maybe the competition is less but i was so wrong once you step out of your house and once you go to the related category or the exams you're giving you you know you feel like every person on this earth is giving the same exam is competing for the same seat and i was like the there was a whole much of hall in that bhu you know campus regarding in your commerce uh, department and i saw like around there were around 5 to 6 to 700 students and they were all net or jrf qualified and including them there were various qualified lecturers various qualified researchers who were willing to do like they are involved in some research projects or all they are already working they have so much experience as compared to Uh, like us we are just students who had just came out of our post graduation so i thought like it has a very much competition when you step out of your homes so, like 500 to 600 students were there and then they had a certain criteria so when you go for bhu they do not take your entrance test if you are net or jrf qualified but uh, it has a interview obviously it has a interview and then the result or the you know of the students who are selected they are selected on the basis of their marks in the interview how they perform in the interview and also uh, on the basis of your 10th 12th graduation post graduation marks so uh, they were very obviously qualified students although my marks are very good in all of the you know all of my classes all of the you know graduation post graduation throughout but then again you they were taking all of that so i went for the interview they asked you know certain questions related to my proposal okay so i was like okay i was uh, you know expecting that okay i would be selected now they have 12 seats guys now 12 seats may some are reserved for general category then obc then sc then st so like four or three candidates uh, maximum from each of these category and 5 to 600 students applying just may say you know uh, many are from bhu itself or from the you know various uh, top universities delhi jamia aligarh and all of that so there the competition is very tough then i was expecting okay i did my best okay so i was waiting for the result and the result came i was not selected so now the last hope also got thrashed so not not bhu not lucknow university not delhi university then what i was facing such lows of my life where i was not getting admission and i was not willing to step out of that you know region of delhi ncr or of uttar pradesh because i think phd is a you know this is my personal opinion like many people go outside for pursuing their phd to foreign to top universities uh, people travel a lot for their phd they sacrifice a lot but uh, what personally i believe according to my capabilities like i think that phd is a dedication of 4 to 5 years and then if you are you know I won't think I would be able to live outside, uh, you know, out of Uttar Pradesh or Delhi and so on. Of certain reasons, I would. I think I have a phobia that I would not be able to adjust. I would not be able to eat. I would not be able to focus. I would not be able to study. I know, no, maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, I was like, okay, if these are not the universities, then where would I go? so i was feeling uh, you know very much low very much you know i was not feeling my confidence was to the lowest now i was thinking okay i have qualified my jr if i invested 2 years of my then approximately 1 year in all these stage admission now i'm getting nothing so yeah it life was going like that and i was thinking i was thinking like what to do where to go because uh, i have qualified my jrf so nothing was lacking behind i was having every qualification to enter into any universe uh, any universities but then i was not be able then i was not able to make a breakthrough not able to get an admission so it was a quite disheartening feeling for me then i came to know about amity university now being a jrf when you qualify jrf like i'm saying like that because i considered myself on the top of the world and i would like i would you know i would prefer okay my central universities or state universities ke niche to baat hi nahi karungi private universities to bahut dur ki baat hai these were the same emotions the same thing i felt so i did not focused on private universities to be very honest but when you don't know about something you are not 
एनी वन टू जज अबाउट दैट बिकॉज आई डिड मतलब पर्सनली आई डिड नॉट न्यू एनी थिंग अबाउट दैट प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटीज बिकॉज इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस आई डिडेंट थॉट अबाउट दैट ऑल इन माई माइंड वॉज टू टेक एडमिशन इन यू नो सेंट्रल और स्टेट नो आई गॉट टू नो अबाउट एमटी यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इट्स एन लखनऊ लाइक आई वॉज एमिंग इट हैज various campuses all over india and in abroad also and it offers phd program in various you know disciplines in various field month of april last i got to know about any amity university and from then i started inquiring about it and collecting information and then i got to know okay amity is recognized by ugc and all and i got to know they at amity they made me uh very quite assured that okay i would be getting jrf i would be getting my scholarship if if i take admission in amity university so like it was quite a relief for me so yeah i decided to take admission in amity university and then the question came in my mind okay will i be able to qualify uh, the entrance the interviews of amity or not because if not then what would i do with my life that was a certain question that revolved around all the time during this april may and june period so like uh, all the universities or uh, you know open their admission mostly in june and then in december in two you know batches so the forms were amity were almost you know you know came when i made my mind to you know take admission in amity university so i was you know as a jrf i was not you know liable to give that interest oh. but i was you know called for the interview so when i went for the interview actually i had three experience of that central state universities so i prepared myself well in advance for that interview i went for the interview interview went quite well as the questions uh, related to the proposal that i made so yeah it went like that and the results came so i was selected for the phd in commerce in amity university so after getting admission in phd in amity i started our course of phd started and from there my journey uh, of being a doctoral research scholar started and i would like to give the whole credit to my phd guide who is professor dr manoj joshi who is sent he is director center for book studies amity universities and i feel blessed doing phd under him never happens happens for good and now i truly believe that because if i would have got admission in any of the three universities that i mentioned then I, then i would not have got such an incredible guide and uh, i feel blessed to have him because he guides us so well he guides us so well he has so much of knowledge that i don't think any of the guides in the world could provide to any of his or her research scholar like i don't think any of the guides spent so much of time with their scholars in developing their skills getting to know them about the nuances of the research getting to know about the field in which they are working like he spends a full of time with you know guiding us motivating us and obviously it's so hard so difficult to work with him according to dedicated timelines so much professionalism but then uh, i think all this is worth when i am getting to learn new things I experience a lot of things. I learn a lot of things. I am developing my skills every day. Touch wood, and all credit goes to him only. Like I now, I now I feel like uh, my struggles, whatever I faced in the past one, two, or you know several back years, I feel like okay. Now you know universe has blessed me with such a good guide, and now it's my you know duty. to work to the fullest uh, in whatever things i am doing related to research related to my phd or any of the things related to my study so that i am able to justify with what i am provided with the purpose of all these things mentioning to you guys is that if something is not happening very great in your life or you are going through your worst phase you are going uh, you know facing a uh, uh, you know a low time not a happy time very sad time or whatever you can define it you are not feeling very good trust me trust the process do not stop working hard do not stop you know dreaming do do not stop you know setting goals for yourself just keep moving but make sure you're moving in a right direction so yeah that all happened with me 
under professor joshi's guidance only like i presented my first paper at international conference that was at gautam buddha university and second was i was not able to attend that but my paper got presented but my paper got accepted and it was presented at iim rohtak no now see i participated in a conference that to iim now iim is a dream guys and when my paper was selected like i was not in this world like it felt more uh you know i felt more joyful than even qualifying jrf when my paper was selected at i am and when there is one more thing which i would be telling like it's ready to my research ready to one more conference which i would be attending in the next year and soon i'll be uploading that video to so that you guys get to know about that but till now i have attended two conferences i became a doctoral research scholar and i think because of you know Uh, professor manoj joshi i chose you know amit university in the first place and i now think choosing amit university was one of the bestest decision of my life so i would also suggest you okay do not go for universities tag or because phd is between you and your guide mainly the universities work at the back end whatever work you will do like phd is you yeah guys uh, like the process the phd is all about you you have to do your work but there should be a guide an able guide who is able to guide you so do not go about university stag i would suggest focus more on the guides focus more on their capability so that you are able to you know get a good guide so sometimes whatever we see what sometimes what we see is that we go behind at university and sometimes results that we do not get a uh, you know guide that we you know dream of or that we want so Uh, make sure you focus first on the guide and then on the universities and yes this was all about 2019 i this so the conclusion is i failed many times but i learned a lot but now i am growing every day as a person i am learning new things and my you know mind is opening to very new things and yes i'm enjoying doing my phd it's not at all boring because i'm doing what i love and you do and when you do what you love i think uh, that's not a work you consider you enjoy it and you do it uh, you know very much more with your more heart and mind so yeah that happened with me and uh, now all in all to 2019 was a year full of full of ups and downs for me i faced certain failures but now when i see back they were not failures there was there was something good involved in it so i would suggest is whenever everything happens just uh, you know focus on the good things because i repeat what happens happens for good and i have experimented and tested it so i now believe it So yeah go with the flow but do not uh, miss your uh, direction make sure you're going in the right direction so you saw my journey you saw whatever i faced and why i chose a private university so yeah guys that was all for today's video i hope you guys liked it and you must have not got bored uh, uh, listening to my experience because these were the things that i experienced and i told you in a very raw manner whatever had happened i whatever happened i told you i was being very much honest not to mention that okay so yeah this was all for today's video and also i would like to mention in case you want to join online classes for the coming june 2020 exams uh, you can join our online batches by contacting on 7839575509 we also run online classes for both the papers so in case you are interested you can join now and the classes are running and you can join them uh as early as possible so yeah this was all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video in case you like just give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share it with the ones who need to know my experience and who need to see this yeah till we meet next thanks a lot for watching the video bye bye